Elections in the Republic of India in 2018 include by-elections to the Lok Sabha, elections to the Rajya Sabha, elections to legislative assemblies of eight states and numerous other by-elections to state legislative assemblies, councils and local bodies. The elections are widely considered crucial to the ruling National Democratic Alliance and the opposition United Progressive Alliance in lieu of the upcoming general elections in 2019. In seven of the eight states that go to polls this year, the Bharatiya Janata Party is in direct contest with the Indian National Congress. Further, the election results in the states of Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Telangana, Chhattisgarh, Mizoram and Rajasthan are considered a barometer of the pulse of the public before the general elections. Elections to the upper house where the ruling National Democratic Alliance does not command a majority are expected to strengthen its position. Background Political system According to the Constitution of India, elections should take place to the Parliament and State Legislative Assemblies every five years, unless an emergency is under operation. Further, any vacancy caused by death or resignation must be filled through an election within six months of occurrence of such vacancy. The elections to the lower houses in Parliament and in the states use first past the post system, the candidate with a plurality of the votes wins the election. Elections to one third of the seats of the upper house of the Parliament, the Rajya Sabha are conducted every two years. The members of the upper house are elected indirectly by the state legislative assemblies on the basis of proportional representation. Members to the state legislative councils in states which have an upper house are elected indirectly through local bodies. All the elections at the central and state level are conducted by the Election Commission of India, while local body elections are conducted by state election commissions. Topic: <laughs> Parliament of India By-elections to the Lok Sabha January Alwar Lok Sabha constituency, elections were held on 29 January to elect a new member of parliament after the death of the incumbent Mahant Chandnath of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Both the Bharatiya Janata Party and Indian National Congress fielded candidates from the Yadav community. 61.77% of the total 18, 27,936 voters participated in the election. For the first time in the country, Election Commission has placed candidates' photos next to their name to help voters identify the candidates. In what was seen as a body blow to the state government, the INC wrested control of the seat from the BJP, with its candidate Karen Singh Yadav winning the seat by a margin of 1, 96,496 votes. Ajmer Lok Sabha constituency, elections were held on 29 January to elect a new member of parliament after the death of the incumbent Sanwar Lal Jat of the Bharatiya Janata Party. 65% of the total 18.43 lakh voters participated in the election. For the first time in the country, the Election Commission has placed candidates' photos next to their name to help voters identify the candidates. In what was seen as a body blow to the state government, the INC wrested control of the seat from the BJP, its candidate Raghu Sharma won by a margin of 84,238 votes. Ulubaria Lok Sabha constituency elections were held on the 29th of January to elect a new member of parliament after the death of Mohammedan Sporting Club's president and All India Trinamool Congress MP Sultan Ahmed Trinamool Congress candidate Sajda Ahmed won Ulubaria Lok Sabha seat by defeating BJP candidate Anupam Malik by 4 74023 votes Topic March May Four parliamentary seats were contested on 28 May 2018. The counting of votes took place on May 31. This election saw the ruling BJP party lose their majority in the lower house of the Indian parliament. November 
Three parliamentary seats had been contested on 3 November 2018 in Karnataka. Results were declared on 6 November 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Elections to the Raja Sabha March Elections to 59 Rajya Sabha seats held on March 23. The results declared on the same day. The Bhartiya Janta Party consolidated its position as the largest party in the Rajya Sabha by winning 28 of the 58 seats in the House. With these results, the BJP-led NDA now has 87 seats in the 245-seat Rajya Sabha compared to the 57 seats of the Congress-led UPA. Other smaller parties together account for the remaining 100 seats. Topic: <inaudible> State legislatures. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Tripura. Elections were held in Tripura on 18 February 2018 in 59 out of 60 constituencies of the Legislative Assembly. The left front led by Manik Sarkar sought re-election, having governed Tripura since the 1998 election. The region in general had been under the political control of the Communist Party for 25 years prior to the election, leading to the region being dubbed a ''Red Holdout''. The incumbent left front government was defeated after 25 years of office, with the Bharatiya Janata Party and Indigenous People's Front of Tripura winning a large majority of seats. The Indian National Congress, which was the second largest party in the 2013 election, lost all its seats and most of its vote share. Meghalaya <inaudible> 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 Elections were held in Meghalaya on 27 February 2018 to elect 59 of 60 members to the Legislative Assembly. The incumbent Indian National Congress government controlled the state in a coalition with smaller parties prior to the election, and sought to retain office. The elections resulted in a hung assembly with no single party or alliance getting the requisite majority of 31 seats in the Vedan Sabha. Conrad Sangma, leader of the National People's Party, announced that he would form a government with the support of the United Democratic Party and other regional parties. He was sworn in as the chief minister, along with eleven other ministers. Nagaland Elections were held in Nagaland on 27 February 2018 in 59 out of 60 constituencies of the Legislative Assembly. The scheduled election in Northern Angami II constituency did not take place as only incumbent MLA Nafu Rio was nominated and was therefore declared elected unopposed. The ruling Naga People's Front was challenged by the newly established Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party an ally of the Bharatiya Janata Party. The NDPP and its allies won a majority, with former Chief Minister Nafu Rio returning to government. Karnataka Elections were held in Karnataka on 12 May 2018 in 222 out of 224 constituencies of the Legislative Assembly. The incumbent Indian National Congress Inc. was seeking re-election, having governed the state since elections in 2013. The opposition Bharatiya Janata Party BJP and Janata Dal secular JDS sought to regain office. The election led to a hung assembly, with the Bharatiya Janata Party emerging as the single largest party, with 104 seats, but failing to win a majority of seats and popular votes. The Indian National Congress Inc. won the popular vote. Following the election, B. S. Yediyarapa was appointed chief minister and tasked with forming a minority BJP government, but resigned two days later on being unable to prove majority in the assembly. Thereafter the INC and JDS which had entered into a post-poll agreement formed a majority coalition government. H. D. Kumaraswamy of Janata Dal secular was subsequently appointed chief minister. Madhya Pradesh Topic Chhattisgarh Topic
Topic: Mizoram. Topic: State Assembly Bipoles. Ten assembly seats across nine different states held bipoles on the 28th of May 2018. The results of each bipole were declared on the 31st of May 2018. Topic: Results. Topic: Norpur, Uttar Pradesh. Followed the demise of BJP MLA Lokendra Singh Chauhan in a road accident, the Norpur seat fell vacant. Besides the Kairana Lok Sabha constituency, Norpur is another assembly seat in which the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP fought with the Samajwadi Party SP. Mayawadi's Bahujan Samaj Party BSP didn't participate in the bipoles, and it is still clear that the BSP will lend support to SP. SP candidate won the seat. Topic: Shakot, Punjab. Shakot constituency in Punjab fell vacant when the sitting Shiromani Akali Dal (SAD) MLA Ajit Singh Kohar died of heart failure in February 2018. The AAM Admi Party (AAP), which had emerged as the runners-up to Congress in 2017, campaigned aggressively for its candidate Ratan Singh Kakarkalan. The AAP campaign, led by AAP MP Bhagwant Mann, was said to have received a lukewarm response. The AAP suffered many a setback in the state after Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal tendered an apology to Akali leader Bikram Singh Majithia. Some of the state leaders were disappointed with Kejriwal's decision and switched to either AAP or Congress. Jokahat <laughs> Bihar. <laughs> In what is being seen by many as a test of Nidish Kumar's popularity in the state after he walked away from the Mahagathbandhan in 2017, the chief minister and half of his cabinet campaigned for Janata Dal United's JDU candidate Murshid Alam. Alam has seven criminal cases, including a gang rape case, against him. JDU legislator Sarfaraz Alam had quit the party after Nidish decided to part ways with Lalu's Rashtriya Janata Dal RJD, necessitating a by-election to the assembly seat. Later, he became the MP from Araria Lok Sabha constituency in Bihar through the bipole held in March 2018. Topic: <laughs> Gomia and Sili Jharkhand. Two assembly seats, Gomia and Sili, in Jharkhand went to polls on 28 May. In Gomia, the ruling National Democratic Alliance partners, the BJP and the All Jharkhand Students' Union fought separately. In Sili, there was a direct fight between Jharkhand Mukti Morcha candidate Sima Mato and AJSU President Sudesh Mato. Sima Mato is the wife of Amit Mato, who lost his assembly seat after being convicted and awarded a jail term. Chenganur Kerala Sitting CPI M MLA K. K. Ramachandran Nair's demise necessitated the by-election to the Kerala constituency. Even though a result against the CPI -M led left government will not change the composition of the assembly, the bipole is being seen as a test of the Pinarayi Vijayan led government's two years in power. Indian National Congress, Inc., the main opposition party of Kerala, claims that the mandate will be against the performances of state and central governments. Chenganur is one of the constituencies in Kerala, where National Democratic Alliance got a vote share near 30% in 2016 Vedan Sabha elections. Through the bipole, we can know the present attitude of Keralites towards the central ruling party. Out of the whole bipole constituencies, the highest poll percentage was recorded in Chenganur 76.27%. Palace Katagaon Maharashtra Congress nominee Visvajit Kadam's election from Palace Katagaon assembly seat in the bipole scheduled later this month is a mere formality as the main rival BJP has withdrawn from the race 
The bi poll, scheduled on 28 May, was necessitated because of the death of sitting Congress MLA and former Minister Patangrao Kadam. The Congress had fielded his son Visvajit Kadam from the seat. Ampati Meghalaya. Ampati is considered to be a Congress stronghold where the party has fielded Mukul Sangma's daughter Miani D. Shira against the National People's Party's Clement Momin. Tharali Uttarakhand Uttarakhand's Tharali seat fell vacant after BJP MLA Megan Lal Shah succumbed to swine flu in February 2018. Uttarakhand had voted the BJP to power in the assembly election in 2017. Topic: <laughs> Maheshtala, West Bengal. In West Bengal's South 24 Parganas district, the Maheshtala seat fell vacant after the two-time All India Trinamool Congress (TMC) MLA Kasturi Das dies in February 2018. The Congress extended support to CPI -M candidate for 28 May by poll to Maheshtala Assembly seat in West Bengal, sparking speculation that the two parties might be coming closer to each other. The two parties had forged a coalition in Bengal for the 2016 Assembly elections but parted ways after the CPI -M Central Committee said the alliance was not in consonance with the party line adopted in 2015. Local body elections <laughs> Jammu and Kashmir Panchayat elections and municipal elections will be held in Jammu and Kashmir in 2018 from October 8 until December 11. The last time panchayat elections were held in the state were in 2011 and the last time municipal elections were held were in 2005. Topic: <inaudible> Uttarakhand. <inaudible> On the 18th of November, elections to the local bodies were held in Uttarakhand. Topic: <inaudible> See also 2017 elections in India 2019 elections in India